here with Duluth.com. I'm at First Lutheran Church tonight for their annual Lutefisk dinner. And tonight I'm going to try Lutefisk for the first time. So I've got Megan here with First Lutheran Church. Well over a thousand people yeah. are coming through here today. Wow. Yeah. Lutefisk is the headliner of this meal, but we, we have some <laughs> other things if, yeah. if you need to sort of ease into it. Cleanse my palate maybe. Yep, you have your Lutefisk, <laughs> um, which was brought in yesterday in the truck and it's covered in a beautiful white sauce. It's a very white plate. <laughs> you have potatoes with more white sauce. You have amazing Swedish meatballs because we love all Nordic cultures here. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, you have local Rogatsky salmon. Okay. Uh, caught by Dave Rogatsky. And um, traditional lefsa made by B. Ojakangas, who's pretty famous yep, in the yep. you know, Scandinavian department and the Finnish department. You have beets for color, probably only. You need something. You need some sort some of color. Kind of color. Yeah, yep. the salmon helps. Yep. You also have pickled herring and other white food. Um, and, and then a little bit of coleslaw, I don't know, just to change it up. Um, just to throw something out on there. Yeah, we've seen a lot of people skip everything and just go Ludafis. But we wanted to give you a flavor of, of everything. It's all homemade. What kind of common reactions do you get for Ludafis? It seems to be a very, uh, you either love it or you hate yeah. it. Yeah. Some people don't like the texture. I think the texture is the biggest complaint. That's what um, I heard. What would you compare the texture to? Uh, at, the, at the risk of being irreverent, <laughs> uh, fish jello. Fish jello, okay. But I will say um, it's less jiggly since it's been cooked. How do you feel about Lutefisk? Well, I have yet to try the Lutefisk. I have been kind of oh. working all day, so I haven't. I, I plan Spoiler to. Spoiler alert. I plan to. So Megan and I are going to try Lutefisk for the first time together. Okay, so we're doing this together. Yep. We've just met. Yep. Yep. We're going to have Lutefisk. Our first Lutefisk this is a, This is a huge experience for a first time meeting. Yep. Okay, we're going in. Yep. Okay. How big of a bite are you doing? I, you know, I'm, I'm committing. I'm committing to this. It's a bit flavorless. Yeah. Uh, maybe some more butter, maybe some more salt. Yep. But it's definitely a texture. You know how you can push jello through your teeth when you're playing with it with your tongue? Like, I feel like you could do that with this you, Lutefisk. You could do that if you yeah. want to. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's not horrible. It's not horrible. Why are you covering your mouth? Because <laughs> I don't want to laugh and spit oh. Lutefisk at you. <laughs> that would be, that'd be great for TV. <laughs> you know, I honestly think Lutefisk gets a bad rap. Flavor-wise, it wasn't like something awful. It was actually like really lacking in flavor. So. If that's what scares you, you should try it. But if you're a non, like, you know, texture person, then I wouldn't eat it. I'm going to try the potato. Yep, successful potatoes. All right, then we're gonna do a beet. Okay, so I don't really like beets. They remind me a lot of, like, dirt. I'm gonna do a meatball now. A plus for the meatballs. I'm a huge fan of meatballs, though, and Swedish meatballs. I love them, and these are very, very good. I'm gonna do the salmon now. Salmon is very good. I'm a huge fan of salmon, though. So this is, like, a perfect plate for me because it's got multiple things that I really enjoy. Meatballs, salmon, potatoes. Not the beats. 